Hello ladies and gentlemen, Luke DeMarco here today with a video for you. In the past few times I've recorded this video, it's been like nine minutes, I want to get it down to like three or four. Uh, what we're going to be going, doing today is uh, showing you how to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Inspired by a Reddit thread I saw the other day about geeks uh, writing programs to make their jobs a lot easier, you know, to do multiple tasks. Uh, I'm essentially going to be showing you guys over the next few weeks, the next few months, uh, how to use the automator on board your Mac. Uh, to do a bunch of tedious tasks that will save you a bunch of time uh, and possibly do your job for you. So uh, Automator is something that comes on every Mac as of 2013. This is the latest uh, edition. I think it's Snow Lion, Mountain Lion. Uh, it's the latest, whatever the latest one is as of uh, March 2013. Anyways, so open up Automator and today we're going to be looking at how to rename a bulk amount of files. So, you know, 100 files, 150 files, photos, Photoshop documents, whatever it may be. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, open up your automator here and you're going to get this window right here. You're going to get a plethora of different options. We just want to create today a workflow, which is essentially what the automator uses to create, uh, you know, your tasks and stuff like that. So, click choose. And you're going to get, uh, as you can see, a plethora of different options over here. Just tons of options, whether it be for Microsoft Office or whatnot. You're going to want to go down to the side here and click on Files and Folders. And then the first action you're going to want to do is uh, click on Ask for Finder Items and then drag it over here into your workflow. Now, this area here is essentially you giving the workflow or the program that you're writing tasks on what to do. So the first one is uh, it's asking for files, folders, or finder items that it can uh, find. It's not asking it to rename them yet, it's just asking for them. Okay. Then in the same column over here, you're going to scroll down a little bit to rename finder items and drag that right under the original task flow. Okay. Now this, what this is, this prompt is asking you to do is it's asking you when it renames the files, do you want to keep a copy of the original files uh, somewhere on your computer? Now you have to think about it. You're just renaming the files. You're not corrupting the files. You're not, you know, changing the formats of the files. You're simply just renaming them. So if you mess up in renaming them once, it's super easy to just go back and rename them again. Uh, so all, I just click don't add. Okay. So then, see, now you ha we have kind of like this timeline that it's asking for items and then it's renaming the items. So now, how do we do this? First of all, you got to have some kind of a folder or, you know, a bunch of files that you want to rename. I've got this folder on my desktop with a bunch of old website banners in them. And right now, they're all named like Dimco01, Dimco02, Dimco03. I'm going to change that. Okay. So start at um, other. So find whatever folder it may be banners and choose okay this is just so that when you click run up here that's the first folder it goes to it makes your life a whole lot easier okay files is what it's renaming you can have it rename the folder as well I just want it to rename the files and then allow for multiple selection which will allow you to bulk select all the files you want to rename once that's done the first task is done you're good to go uh, on to the renaming sort so now down here, renaming, uh, you have a variety of different options about how you could rename them. Uh, you can add or t the time or the date to the original name. So as you can see down here in the example, it would keep the original item name and then add the date and time. You can also add text to the original name, uh, change the case from lower to uppercase of the original name, uh, make a sequential bunch of names, which is what we're going to do. So something 010203. Uh, replace the text completely without a, sequ a sequential thing, uh, and then singly name the item. So just pick one or wh whatnot. Uh, so what we're going to do is go down to make sequential here. And as you can see, it's given us the example down here of the current item name dash one. Now, what it, why it's using the current item name is because I've clicked up here the existing item name. I want a new item name, and I'm going to rename my items banner. Okay. So now, as you can see down here, all of those files that I select, I think there's like 12 files, will be named banner dash one dash two dash three, all the way to dash 12. Okay. I can choose to have the number before the name or after the name. I just think it looks tidier after the name. Um, if I've already done a bunch of files, I can start it at say I, I say I wanted to start after 12. I can start at 12 uh, and then go on like that. Right, um, separated by so it's separated by a dash right now. I hate dashes in file organization. I'm a real freak when it comes to file organization. Always think underscores look so much better. Also, aesthetically, uh, I like to make the numbers two digit longs, especially if you're working with like 12 files. So that's a double digit number. Um, so I think it just looks cleaner to have 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03. Um, if I was working with you know 112 files, I'd want that to be three numbers long and, and so on and so forth. And that's literally. All you have to do. So now as you can see the example down here is banner zero banner under, banner underscore zero one because that's all my files. Uh, that's what they're going to be named. Okay, so I'm done. 
I've just created a task workflow in Automator that has automated the renaming of a bulk amount of files. So now what I want to do is I want to run this workflow. I want to run this task. So I'm going to go up here and go click Run. And it's going to open to the banner folder, which we chose. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. And now because I chose, I allowed me to select multiple items, I can click Choose. As soon as I hit click Choose, down here in my uh, workflow log, it asked for the items, it made the sequence, and it completed it. Um, it sure as heck wasn't 11 seconds. Maybe it was 11 seconds just because I was in the folder for like explaining that to you. Um, but anyways, now if we open up my banners folder, boom. All of my banners are renamed nice and tidy like that. Banner 03, banner underscore 04, and so on and so forth. Now this super handy uh, for renaming bulk files. Now, as I said before, what you can go and do is you can actually save this certain, so if I want to save this certain workflow, um, and then I can reopen the workflow again so I don't have to go through and create all that workflow again. I can save it, just open it up in Automator again, and then toss off. So I can name this renaming files. It's now a workflow that I can open whenever I want, and whenever I want to rename a bunch of files, I just click that, and then I can rename files instantly. Super easy makes uh, photographers, web developers, their job uh, so much easier. Uh, and I hope it helps you as well. Anyways, guys, it's been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate it. Subscribe for more content. Uh, and I will see you in the next tutorial, tip or review.